actually an orb weaver. I'm not sure if it's a cross or not. And it's really hard to tell. It's starting to make webs already. So I've been got a lot of comments on how to keep one, so thanks so much guys. So I'm going to be transferring it later on uh, this evening. Um, trying to find a suitable cage for it. And I know uh, these are really not that great. It's just an upgrade of that. But I'm going to be saving these when my uh, tarantula shipment is going to be coming very soon. So I was thinking, um, since I have a extra cage, because all my critter keepers are occupied, so I have this two and a half gallon tank uh, that belonged to my Hedurus arizonensis, the um, desert hairy scorpion, if you remember, I used to have a while back. So guys, I want your opinion, uh, should I keep it arboreal or terrestrial? I was thinking maybe because it makes a lot of webs, I was thinking of maybe doing it uh, this way and um, putting some, I don't know, some bark. I think it'll be fine for that, and maybe just just a bit of substrate, not too much, because I know uh, these guys like to sit in their webs. So I just want your input on that, and um, I have something to show you. Haha, -ha. as predicted, my Isabella, Firmictopus concerides, Haitian brown bird eater, finally molted. There's the molt. I would say she's a good 1.75 inch right now. Still showing the blue color. Yep. So I just wanted to share you um, her molt and want your opinion on how I should keep the true spider. Alright guys, take care. Peace.